so in this video I'm going to show you how to organize your linen closet if you don't have a very big space and you don't have a um, like a very big budget so I've just organized my closet and I'm just excited to show you guys because I love the way it turned out it was it was a hard project and in the middle of the project I wasn't sure where it was going but I continued moving forward and now it's like my favorite spot in the house so let me show you what it looks like okay so this is my linen closet now as you can see it's not very big it's actually like a tiny closet um, if you just you see like how wide it is it's it's just very narrow like it's not even two feet from side to side it's really you really only have a 22 inches of working space which isn't a lot of space it's less than two feet and then the depth of the shelves is only like 12 inches front to back most um, shelves are like 16 inches um, shorter ones are 12 inches so 12 inches is like it limits you to what kind of bins and baskets you can use so that's why the space was just so tough to organize just because it's so small um, and so when I was thinking how am I going to organize this space I was thinking well I kind of want to do this with a small budget in mind um, just a small space and I just want to see what I can do with just reusing things from around the house so let me just go shelf by shelf and show you exactly what I've done here okay so the very top of the closet I put all of our toilet paper so we buy toilet paper at Costco we buy it in bulk because it's less expensive and you don't have to keep buying it every week you just buy it like one time and it lasts us probably about a month and a half since it's just Ed and I in the house so the top of the closet was the perfect place for it because the top goes all the way up like these are nine foot ceilings and so right now there's like eight there's probably like 14 rolls of toilet paper and I could probably double that if not maybe a little bit more so I could probably fit like 30 rolls of toilet paper up there and the Costco toilet paper I think comes with like 36 rolls so it would just the whole thing would just fit nicely up there all right so that goes up there and then um, down here what I've done is I've since the space was so small and I couldn't store like everything that I wanted to store, like inside my last house, um, I used the linen closet for medications. Um, I sorted everything into shoe boxes. I had beach towels. I had regular towels, sheets, um, just like all kinds of stuff. I had my air mattress in there. But since was so, this was so small, I had to limit myself to just towels and just sheets. So the rest of the shelves um, just have towels and sheets. and. I grouped all the towels by um, like by size and by type. So all the bath towels together, all the um, hand towels, all the wash um, like face towels together, and then all the sheets are organized by set. So um, I found these really pretty baskets. Now I looked everywhere for baskets for this space, and it was just so hard to find like a a basket that was 12 by 12 um, with like a five or six inch height. It was just so hard to find. So I finally found them, um, these baskets at Michael's for 50% off. Um, and I just, I loved the color. I feel like green or like the color olive just goes well inside of a linen closet. Cause when I think of linen closets, I think of like fresh colors. And when I think of fresh colors, I think of green. So those match nicely. So what I did was I put all of my sheet sets inside the baskets and I kind of zigzagged them. At first I wanted to do the baskets side by side, but it just wasn't fitting, so I zigzagged them. So um, I put all the sheet sets inside, and what I did was I took a clothespin that I had um, around the house inside of my craft closet, and I painted it like a taupe color, um, just to give it like a pop of color. And then I found these letters inside of my, what was it, like my scrapbook? box or whatever um, so I just found these around the house and I thought it'd be cute to put like F for full size and then um, put K for king size so I can tell like where the full size sheets go and where the king size sheets go just by gluing it onto the clothespin the clothespin you can buy them at the dollar store like 20 for a dollar um, something like crazy cheap like that um, so I got these years ago and they've just lasted me this entire time Okay, so I did that, and one of the reasons why I put all my sheets inside of these wicker baskets is because I'm not really good at folding fitted sheets. Like, I can fold them, but when I fold them, they don't really look like that nicely, like the flat sheet looks, because fitted sheets are hard to fold. So what I did was I kind of hid the fitted sheet at the bottom of the opaque basket, so that way when you open the door, you don't immediately see a messy folded or messy folded fitted sheet it's like 
hidden down here. And then on top is the flat sheet, and then on top of that is the pillowcase. Um, so it just looks nice and organized. Okay, so full size, full size, king size, king size. Then all the bath towels are here, and then all of the, um, the hand towels and the washcloths. And then at, on the bottom shelf, I put towels that we don't really use that often. Like the towels that we use every day, um, it's like these towels and these towels. The ones toward the bottom, they're like the not so soft towels and the towels that, um, like one of them has like a bleach stain. So those are at the bottom. Okay, and then at the very bottom of the closet, um, I reused a, um, I reused a comforter slash pillow slash quilt bag that I had to store an extra shower curtain, a bath mat, two blankets, and yeah, that's really it. So every time I buy like a pillowcase, a quilt, bedspread or whatever, I always save the bag because it's like a free container, it's a free storage bag, and you can always reuse it and these things last. Um, they have zippers that just like hold up well. Um, so yeah, so I thought that was creative and I just put it at the very bottom of the closet and it just fit really nicely, just like that. And I don't really use those things that often, they're kind of like extra, so, um, so yeah, so now they're just down there in storage and they're not gonna get dusty when I'm not using them. Okay, so the last thing in this closet is the door. So since this closet isn't very wide, I didn't wanna put something bulky on the interior of the door because I didn't want it to just interfere with like the small opening, but I still wanted to maximize space. So what I did was I mounted a, um, a over the door hook, just like this, that I, I already had in the house. Um, you can find these inexpensive at Target or any kind of place that sells organizing products. And what I did was behind the hook, I put these little grip, like adhesive grips. You could do the same thing with like adhesive um, felt pads or yeah, felt pads. They also sell them at the dollar store. Um, so it wouldn't damage the door when I put the hook on. And then on top of the hook, I just took a skirt hanger from my closet. These are my favorite ones. They're from Ikea. I've had them for probably over 10 years and they're like, they still hold up. They haven't broken or anything. So I just took a skirt hanger and I hung an extra bath mat that I had purchased um, maybe a few weeks ago and I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it yet. So I hung it here to see if I'm gonna use it. And what I did was I put a piece of cardboard behind like, um, the little claw part of the hanger so it does so the claw part doesn't make an indention into the bath mat because then it kind of just like it doesn't damage it but it just makes a mark there so yeah just did that and then um so remember i showed you at the bottom of the closet there was an extra shower curtain so all the rings to the shower curtain i just put it in a ziploc bag and i punched a hole into the ziploc bag and then i just hung it right here on the hanger so it's out of the way and it's right there when i need them so all I did here was just reuse things I had from around the house. All right, so that goes here. And this just hangs nicely right up here, right when I'm ready to use the bath mat or the shower rings. And that is everything I did inside the closet. Um, I hope this video was helpful. Now, if you're working with a small space, it's all about just like limiting what you can store inside the closet. Like for me, I couldn't really store all the, um, the shoe boxes I had in the last house. So I had to limit it to just towels, sheets, and like bath mats and stuff. Um, so yeah, I hope this video was helpful. And also, you know, if you're working with a limited budget, shop the house, see what you find, see what you can reuse and just get creative because you never know like what you can do. I had no idea that this closet was gonna come out like this and I'm just so happy the way it turned out. So I hope this video was helpful. If you want more organizing videos and tips, you can visit my website at alejandro.tv. I'll see you soon, bye. Thank you.